of the Black Galaxies. Um, we have the head coach, um, Coach Anna Walker, here with us. And we have the captain, Glass Nawaku, also here with us. Um, this post-match conference should be specifically um, issues concerning the match tomorrow. So as much as possible, we need to go directly mm -hmm. on those issues. Coach, um, how is preparation like? Thanks so much. Uh, uh, preparations have been very good uh, since uh, I was told uh, to invite players uh, to get them ready for uh, our match against Benin about uh, uh, six, seven weeks ago. So I assembled the players at Pampram. We started training um, that uh, we train during the week. Uh, Monday, the players report. Uh, then maybe on Thursday, then I leave them to go to their various clubs to go and play matches and report back uh, on Monday since the league was ongoing. So uh, until the league uh, ended, then we have to be uh, uh, stable now which we've trained and get ourselves well prepared uh, until about a week now that we've come to Cape Coast here to come and finalize everything. So preparation uh, has been very good. Lesson, yeah. how are the players prepared for this match tomorrow? Um, thank you. I, I would say um, we are all ready. Um, the, the motivation, the um, the motivation in camp is very high, which uh, I can say boldly that uh, um, all the players in camp, uh, each and every one is ready for the game, and if they should be called upon to, to defend their nation, they are ready to, to, to fight uh, a good fight for the nation. Right now, colleagues, any question for coach and captain? You mention your name, uh, your radio station in the air. Um, in fact, um, he <laughs> have watched them, their clips, and uh, recently, if I'm not mistaken, just last uh, week they played uh, a friendly, two leg friendly matches, which he watched, and uh, he has told me of how they play, how they defend, how they attack and how they build up from, uh, sometimes from the wings, sometimes from the middle, which I think uh, uh, that's what he's told me and I've prepared and done my, my work on uh, those uh, uh, points that he has uh, given me. Yes. No, for now, I don't have any injury. Uh, they are all okay, very fit uh, to play. So uh, if I should assemble my 18 players, all is ready, all is fit to play in this game uh, on, on Sunday, that's tomorrow. We expect nothing like uh, winning and proceeding forward uh, to meet Nigeria. But I have to finish with Benin uh, tomorrow and the following week. We have to qualify and meet uh, the next opponent to qualify finally to the ultimate, which is going to the Chan uh, next year. Yes, also. And then the coach, you yeah. played two friendly matches, you scored seven goals and conceded one. And for the player played one match with three goals. I will see more goals tomorrow. God willingly, we've worked on that, and I believe uh, we're going to score 
And if uh, my boys should take their chances, which they will do, uh, I should at least win by three or four goals tomorrow. Coach Maestro, is it a difficult task for you? Because looking at the team, we are failed to qualify for the last three editions of the champ. What assurance are you giving to Ghanaians regarding qualifying to the champ this next edition? Uh, maybe it's difficult in the eyes of men, but it's not difficult in the eyes of the Almighty. I've worked harder because the word says, if you work hard, you get your result. So I've worked very hard with the players, and the players are ready to work, commit themselves, get themselves ready already for the match tomorrow. So we are ready uh, since it's been long that we played Chan, uh, Chan itself. This is the opportunity for me and the, presently the players I have in camp to also show what we can do to get Ghana to the Chan uh, this year. Glassing, but can you tell us about the quality of players you have in camp? Because some of us believe that the top scorer of our just ended league is out of the team. But some key players even never reported to camp. And so people think that we don't have that quality to match the Benignians. And then our next game against Nigeria, if you if we win this particular one, do you think we have the quality to face Benin tomorrow? Um, thank you. Yes, I'll say yes because um, I joined the team. Um, and from what I've seen, uh, I think we have a good, good players, good quality to, to, to man them. I think we have a good team. If, uh, I don't think individually, uh, what I do is, is, is the team that we have now, and the team that the, the staff have, 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 have been able to bring together. And that's what I believe in, which I have the belief that we are going to do that tomorrow. But are you motivated enough? Okay, very well. Okay, if there are no more questions, colleagues, um, probably I would need to tell Coach what is he telling the fans of Cape Coast and Ghanaians in terms of their support tomorrow. Uh, all that I want to tell fans that it's a Ghana team, it's not an individual club, and uh, we've got ourselves ready. We also expect them to give us their support which I believe uh, they will give to us. And uh, those uh, Muslims, uh, Christians, I pray uh, that they support us with their prayers. And uh, tomorrow being Sunday also, I expect uh, the pastors, uh, elders, and Ghanaians to pray for us, support us, so that we should be able to win and win well tomorrow. Listen, Alko, what are you telling the fans? Um, yes, as my boss said, uh, they should come in their um, We know whenever the senior um, national team comes, we know the support, and we are the same as, as uh, the senior team as well. So we, we urge them to come and, and, and give us all the, the energy, the, the power that we need. They should come and support us. And we'll, Coach and Captain, thank you very much for your time. We wish you all the best tomorrow. Thanks. Um, colleagues, thank you very much. Um, we are meeting Benin proud to their, to their training. Thank you.